round four has just finished. We are being joined by Levon Aronian, who has won a very impressive technical end game against Shakri Mamedyarov. Can you take us through the game and highlight some of the main points and critical moments? Uh, yeah, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect Grunfeld. So I just improvised, played. Uh, what did you expect Alec if we can ask uh, anything about Grunfeld? Yeah, generally, uh, lately, Shahriar plays, uh, doesn't fiancate with Bishop, mm. he plays with E6. So that's what I thought will happen. And um, so, yeah, I, I thought to play something that I haven't played for quite a long time, you know, just to surprise him back. Did you see that at the very same moment that was uh, the other game with same, the same variation? No, I actually didn't see that. When did so you realize that you are playing the same opening? When uh, Karyakin uh, complimented me on a good choice. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and I realized. Did you do that during the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, I think basically the game was all, all, uh, very balanced. Although here I thought that, uh, I mean, it was necessary to take. Because this I felt was a bit dangerous. Because rook c8, some queen c1 might come. I don't know. It's uh, Is it possible to take that pawn on c4 at some moment, for instance, here? Uh, yeah, I, no, no, wait, what, what am I talking about? Uh, rook c8? No, I have to do something else. What was I intending to do? Well, that's a big question, generally. Can I play f4 here? No, f4 wasn't good. There was a move that I was intending. <laughs> yeah, maybe queen c1 and after take. No, black just takes, yeah? Yeah, he definitely had to do this. Hmm. And then... Uh, Who are you actually going to defend that pawn? Yeah, queen d2, I think I need to play, yes. No, I remember. Isn't the pawn hanging? Oh yeah, the rook c1, rook c1. Or rook c1. Yeah. But what about? Uh, I should be careful suggesting things. <laughs> <Don't be nice. laughs> but what about bishop? Uh, let's see, bishop e4. But then you are heading for bishop f6. F6, yeah? right? Mm. Yeah. But if you throw in something like the h6 or something, I don't know. Uh, you want to throw in h6 and give this. And pawn? then and then bishop b4. It doesn't look tempting. I know. Okay. It looks just stupid. No, I mean. Uh, you're asking for trouble, you know? I know, but uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being made <laughs> because... From a different square, the same uh, You're not getting made it, but... Uh, <laughs> you because of king h7, actually having... King h7 here, queen h4? Okay, uh, not enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, looking for, I mean, competing with yeah. tactics of yeah. your age is perhaps <laughs> not <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you, you're uh, completely right. <laughs> So, uh, rook d7, uh, c5. But was, it seemed that yeah, rook yeah, was I think he blundered. d7 was yeah. quite awkward. Yeah, I think my opponent blundered that here I have bishop c4. Oh. Mm. So. That's simple, that he forgot simple. about bishop c4. Yeah, maybe he, uh, maybe he thought that here he gets something, but in fact this is bad for black, for various reasons. But maybe c6 is the, is the simplest yeah. of the reasons. Yeah. Looks quite bad. Yeah, and then I mean, uh, you have to play some rook d6, and then uh, I'll move the queen precisely somewhere. I don't know. Just and avoid bishop knight b2. And then I'll the get the knight in. I don't know. Maybe this is something you have to yeah. do because this is very, very gruesome. Do you have any better suggestion for black instead of knight c6? I felt he can play like queen c6, you know, just to keep... Uh, but then he doesn't really have an idea, so mm. Mm. it's not easy uh, to come up. I mean, he basically wants to do this, but then I can play bishop c1. Mm. It's a bit passive for black, so mm. once he allowed c5, I was already happy. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, here I think my opponent played really well, because, yeah, of course, this is, this is horrendously bad for black. Mm. Because uh, the attack will start at any yes, moment. Yes, yes. Well, you didn't, we, we just thought rook g3, but uh, rook b3... Uh, I mean, rook b3 I thought is more if, precise. If, if it, because if it takes, you take with the queen. Yeah, I just eliminate uh, his whole play and then I'll start attacking with my uh -huh. knight. Uh, so here I think this was all good. 
this is more or less forced what happened here I mean up to this point and here okay I have a choice of play King g3 which is more a uh, pragmatic choice I guess uh, or play for f4 but I thought you know what if what if I'm not in time what if he gets to get a counter play yeah. so I wasn't that sure that uh, I can afford to play slow although mm. they teach us in end games that you have to play slow, you know, yeah. just rush to things. <laughs> yes. But uh, I'm not sure if this is the case. Mm. So, and uh, this I felt. Uh, we were a bit c critical towards G5. I mean, we thought either it's good or it's just bad. No, but what is it supposed to be? I was just wondering could it just run with A pawn? Yeah, but once I get the rook on C7, this will be. Uh, is, is that over? I think it's almost over. And run with eight pawn again. Okay, you're trying to be extremely passive, yeah. Yeah, and uh, put the eight pawn on a three. That was what the uh, well, uh, turn to where uh, we thought. And then rook e two, huh? Uh, yeah. Ah, actually, you might, you might have a point. I thought that this this cannot fly because of some attack, but I don't know. Maybe I should just bring the king first. Mm, run with that pawn. Yeah, and then. Uh, is is it hard to keep three, the, because three. I managed to keep my rook on the e file? Right, but you're you're not gonna you're not gonna have uh, anything to do very soon. Ah, g five here. Hmm. Oh wait, 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 wait. Right now you you basically have no move. So I'll do something like g three. Because if I move uh, my rook somewhere. Rook b1 and rook c7. And rook, rook back. Will, rook back. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he could do this, but I, I'm not... Uh, I don't think this would give him better chances of survival. Mm. No, what, what, what Black did, I, I thought, was very logical. Yes. He's trying to push the knight yes. before the king comes. We, all, we almost thought that it was... Uh, that you were over-pushing, but then came e6, and then as soon as you decided... Beautiful. No, but if I don't have e6, then I won't play f5. Right, right, right. I had a lot of time here. That was the thing. Yeah, yeah. So you had completely control when you played the f5 about no, the I e saw, tricks. I saw this position and I thought, okay, perhaps it's a draw or it's a yeah. win. But uh, you went just around here. There are different ways. Uh, what about rook a3, for instance? Would you consider that? Yeah, but this is very bad, I think. Yeah, that was what I was a little bit yeah, curious about. Because uh, then you'll you'll be under attack forever. H five. H five, and then check. There is this nasty check at all times. Mm. And king back to g eight. Knight h six and rook e seven, and then I'll start collecting the little guys. Oh. Uh, rook a three, but uh, yeah, king f two. Checking, lots of checks. Oh, so you want me to bring my king and mate you, huh? You will <laughs> simply mate me, so that's, is that essential? Okay, I think that's, that's what's coming. That's cool. That's what's going to happen to you. Yeah. It's cool. Rook 3, z3. Uh, that's, that's a cool attack. I think it's cool for me, but not cool for uh, you. I don't think it's cool for me either. I wish I could uh, have had that h3 pawn, because then I could perhaps play rook f3, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. not in time, it seems, because you can simply check on f7 and... No, you cannot. Yeah, no, you can do this. Yes. Ah, it's not so easy. So I have to give a check and take, but maybe this is a throw, yeah, can you play? Ah, 95. No. But it's just all these lines are very quite seem to be quite complicated. They seem to make a quite a big decision by going for the the the, the, the way it did. Yeah. Uh, where was he confident that it was a draw, or did he think it? Was, well, what was your judgment of the position around here? Well, I thought this is my best practical chance. Yeah. So it's just uh, you didn't think you didn't need to consider any more than that. Actually. Maybe I should start with this, you know. Um. Yes, and and same similar stuff. So like uh, a5 and then promote and then move. I don't know, mm. but uh, of course it's a good throwing chance. I didn't so I didn't uh, take it seriously, but you're uh. right. Maybe it's a better throwing chance than what happened in the game. I feel that this is this is almost a draw, but some chances. 
yes. And around here, well, just here it seemed you have quite many different options actually. Mm -hmm. I thought we were, uh, well. No, I thought it's good to prov pro to provoke e5. Yeah. Because if I if I try to do something else, then the king h5, king h4 is kind of annoying. Yes. Yes. Okay then, provoke a5. But uh, we were wondering about. Uh, and knight d6 is simply bad because of rook a4. Uh, you know, he's got rook c2. Yeah, I thought this was a good yes. move. Yes. King f5, did play that? Check. And the Henry was wondering about rook knight d6. Knight d6, check. Knight d6? Hmm? Yeah, yes, I didn't, I didn't knight want to do it. C4. Knight c4? Yeah, I, di I didn't want to and do that. And then king f3 was what we were told, thought perhaps. Uh, was, uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I can do and this. And run with the king to b3 or something? Mm. Yeah, maybe it makes sense. He'll probably play h5. King king up. d4, I guess. And something like g4. Yeah, and I'm not, not sure if you're going to take it or not. Leave it to you to decide. But the point of bringing the king to, d, to b3 and... Yeah, but maybe this pawn becomes... Does it? H4? Good. Just as to keep so, it? So, okay. Maybe it's safer to take. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, if, it, if you take it, it will become no, scrapped. No, but, but I kind of like this rook f2 idea. I thought mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. You know, just to just to annoy him. Make him push this pawn yes. even more. So he it, can it, never... It seemed to be uh, putting him in an awkward position because here it seems like he had to do, do quite a bit of calculating and then he suddenly mm -hmm. do something that perhaps comes as a surprise a little bit. Mm -hmm. If that was the, the... That was the intention. That was the intention, right. Yeah. And here, uh, well... Uh, Okay, this this position is probably a draw somehow. I don't know. I wasn't. Yeah, too we optimistic. were wondering about your judgment about that. This, if you were actually going on this on purpose with so many. But I but I played on purpose because I thought that this, uh, you know, it was getting low on time. So hmm. here he has to play extremely precisely, and I saw the plan for me with knight g3 and slowly bringing the uh -huh, king back. Uh -huh. So you still consider this as a good practical chance, in yeah. especially knowing that he didn't have much time. Mm -hmm. He heard the computer says one and a half plus or something, but uh, sometimes the computer does even enjoy his positions. With an extra knight. Uh, it yeah. can be tricky. Yeah. So you can't really trust the computer. Yeah, I thought he needed to put the rook on f3. Somehow I believe that he needed to keep it here in order to meet it with rook f4 and mm. just to stay mm. active. Mm. But. Uh, Rook a3 came and. Okay, e3, rook b2. I don't know, it feels like there are good chances for me. Mm. I thought that he needed to play a5, rook b4 somewhere. Uh -huh. I'm still going to do the same yeah. thing. But so uh, we have a question for Fabiano Caron then. He ju just three moves before you <laughs> resigned and thought it was probably a draw. <laughs> exactly, let's go for that moment. It was just before. Actually, toward the end, here he said, here Fabiano suggested instead of king d3, rook a6 immediately. Yeah, this had to be played, yeah. Hmm. This what I felt was correct. But then, uh, I don't know, rook h6 or? He didn't continue, so no, we don't know. So now we're on our own, actually. Yeah, b6. Rook, rook b6. b6. Rook b6. Oh, rook b6. Yeah, that's very pretty. That's a good idea, yeah. But uh, all right. Let me let me just uh, be humble yes, uh, and slowly put the knight on c1 right. and see what happens. Uh, yes, and the king f3, rook c1. Well, maybe there are still drawing rook chances. One, ah, rook b1, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. This is this is this is perhaps a draw. Because if you go back, uh, mm. um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Is this so song somehow? Can you just... But it's not clear what I want, yeah? It's not clear what this will do either. It seems like it's someone else in Sook's one. Hmm. Uh, pushing the pawn to a3? Or so yeah. maybe a rook c8 or something. Uh -huh. Then some rook b2. Yeah, it's good drawing chances. <coughs> Is it? Because you have queen c2 next there. C2. Oh, that My one, that one. So maybe I should play some rook c5, yeah? Well, anyway, mm. it should be somehow a draw, but mm. not mm. so easy mm. with limited time. Oh, you're meaning that one? I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, when, when this happens, it's already, uh, the king is coming, so mm. it's already unpleasant. Okay. 
But now I'm returning to what I started this thing because uh, we were talking about end games techni technicians in the world, and I, I was praising your technique and so on. He did. I, I, I did. Can, I can assure you. No? And uh, you beat Magnus Carlsen in some technical games. I remember, for instance, in Libya, brilliant lead technique. Magnus was only 13, though, but but still, the way you played, you've treated a few positions with brilliant technique. I've seen that. Thank you. And uh, I said it hasn't come. You have worked on it. I said. Is that true? You worked Not on the really. Not really. It just comes... <laughs> Intuition. <laughs> Natural talent. Well, I think uh, technician positions is basically concentration and uh, perseverance mm -hmm. to, to be good at it. I, I don't think I'm, I'm... I don't think that's the strongest part of my uh, chess. I won't say it's the weakest, but it's definitely not the strongest. Yes. What and would then you uh, sorry, I was yeah. just going to ask you, what would you consider your strongest point, if it's not about technique and... Strongest point? Hard to say. I don't know. Probably... Uh, probably or my optimism. Probably my optimism. <laughs> optimism. Yeah. Could you explain the, the last scene, what happened? Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, what basically happens? No, I gave a check and uh, here, just here sign. Yeah, because in this line, after rook d6, white has rook f4. Uh, rook d4 and king comes close. So if he goes to e5 with the king, instead of a, instead of oh, instead of uh, you want to play king e5? Yeah, see, it's bad, but anyway, <laughs> you just play king d2, c2. I guess. Hmm. And no, maybe followed by knight c3. We have to think. Maybe knight c3 here. Uh -huh. Now I'm threatening rook e4. Makes more um, more precise because you can go and mm. take the pawn with king e2 in case he checks. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So yeah, this is okay. Knight c3. As now I as now that. I win the now I win the pawn. Mm. You were going to ask another question when I interrupted um, you. Yes, because I was praising your technique, and but at the same time I was also saying that sometimes you do make uh, mistakes. And I was kind of having a feeling something like that happened uh, in a previous Norwegian Norwich encounter with Magnus, so many, but I couldn't quite remember. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something about this endgame that reminded me of something uh, similar. Uh, I wonder if it was this thing with uh, I, I think the pawn on generally when white pawn on b7 or something, uh -huh. if you remember that game. Yeah. I think you were good and then suddenly you miscalculated something and yeah. you were right. Yeah, yeah. No, but generally uh, when you're playing uh, against the best players in mm. the world, even if your technique is the best in the world, you're still going to make mistakes. Yeah. Because uh, the best players in the world defend really well. Mm. Mm. So they don't get discouraged. Yes. That's the difference. Yes. That's they keep on fighting. You have to knock them over and over again. Mm. It's not luck. My or uh, my students were just... Uh, that is, that is, that is <laughs> 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 uh, yes, we talk about that often, actually. Well, this has been really inspiring. Thank you, Levan, for sharing your thoughts Thank with you us. Guys. And we definitely uh, wish you a nice rest after this long game and enjoy your meal as well at dinner thank you very much good luck for the rest of the event thank you and we will be back tomorrow at the same time as usual half past four local time for round five of the altibox norway chess tournament and with some updates